Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we are talking about a new game that will be coming out in the future by Dunright Games. It's called Rift of Rygard, and it's something I'm very excited to play and to possibly cover on the YouTube channel. That might be a little ways down uh, the line here, but I wanna talk about what we know and just kinda summarize all the new information on this game because it is going to be at least somewhat similar to Clash of Clans and as many people are hoping an improvement on Clash of Clans having some of the features that um, many players wish existed in Clash but weren't quite implemented. Um, so this game was created by Jake from One Hive. He was the original One Hive YouTuber if you guys are familiar with him. Uh, the company is called Done Right Games and today we're talking about the company and the game itself. So before I get into the details, this video is not in any way affiliated with the company. Um, I'm using information that has been already released um, either through their Kickstarter campaigns, Twitter, or videos that they've put out. So none of this is uh, information that's uh, in any way secretive. Um, but where do we start? Basically, the game is going to be a castle-building real-time strategy game, meaning similar to Clash of Clans. It's going to uh, involve having a base that you upgrade things, and you have options of how to arrange, I, was, I assume, defenses, and you have different troops. Um, I assume all of that will be in the game from what we've heard, um, but it is going to be like Clash of Clans in that respect. It has more of a realistic edge to it than Clash. Clash is very fantasy oriented. Um, this game, um, as you guys might see in the background, we have some images. I wish I had some replays, but I don't have any actual Clash of Clans replays. So we'll just take a look at some cool images from the company in the background here. But you guys can see it has more of a realism mix to it. Um, so just like a fantasy realism uh, combination. I like the, uh, the style of the art and a lot there's gonna be a lot of customization we'll talk about that a little later in this video um, we know that there are going to be multiple game modes um, i'll go through them here and as from what i've seen the game modes are in some respects similar to clash of clans in some respects they're different so first there is going to be a player versus player game mode and that is i guess you can think of it as the Night Village in Clash of Clans. Now, I know the Night Village was really unpopular, but the same principle. Um, it's I think it's going to be a real time. I, uh, I'm speculating a little bit, but um, it's some kind of player versus player, your base slash your troops against their base slash their troops. Um, so that is one of the game modes. There's also going to be a storyline slash campaign. Now, you can think of that as the equivalent to the Goblin maps in Clash of Clans, but much much more in depth. I think the story is going to be very developed and the campaign is going to be much more than just attacking some uh, crappy little goblin huts in Clash of Clans. Uh, although they, they have added some more to be fair in this recent update. But um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the campaign. I mean campaigns are always popular if you have a cool story that people get behind, people enjoy, and it seems like they're going to try to keep a story central to the game. And I have some information on the story uh, basically, in Rift of Rygard, the uh, world in which everyone lives is called Rygard, and it's obviously divided, hence the name. There are three factions, I guess you can say. You have the Folk Lords. These are um, kings and queens of Kassarith and guardians of Rygard. I'm just kind of reading this off of the description they put out. Uh, they, they fight to restore the Rift and bring peace back to the war-torn war world. Uh, you have the Gremlocks, Lords of Varniki, and Rulers of the Vile and Undead. They swarm the world like locust, uh, bearing darkness and sickness to those who resist. And then you have the Koalites, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Emperors of Oranox and Masters of Machines. They seek to drain the world of all its resources, pillaging anything in their path. Okay, so you have like the greedy people there, you have like the evil people, then you have, I guess, the good or the noble people. People is kind of a strong word. I think there's different, uh, there's like dwarves, goblins, probably stuff like that. So um, you have these three factions and they're gonna be following a storyline and there's gonna be a single player campaign. I'm not sure if you'll need a Wi-Fi connection to play that, probably will. I assume it'll be like Clash of Clans in that respect. 
Um, and then finally, the thing I'm most excited for is they have a clan war, um, or I guess a guild war. I think guilds are kind of what it's being called, similar to Clash of Clans. And there's going to be some differences from what I've seen in some of the videos put out. Uh, the wars, I believe, are going to be shorter. And there's going to be leagues, kind of like CWL for Clash of Clans, but they're led by the company, uh, Done Right Games. They're going to be much more involved. You're not going to have, like, admins, or you might, but you're not going to have, like, an independent organization uh, separate from the company running these uh, leagues. It's going to be directly um, overseen by Done Right Games. And from what I've heard, there will be, like, cash prizes and all kinds of cool stuff, live streams. Um, so it's going to be... For people who like that, um, which are probably a lot of people who watch my channel, the war aspect, the very competitive aspect, there's going to be that in uh, Rift of Rygard. So that's cool. And then I've, I've heard speculation um, that there's going to be a fourth mode that's still kind of unknown beyond storyline slash single player campaign, beyond player v player uh, in uh, Guild Wars, there's going to be a fourth um, mode. But the Guild Wars do imply, of course, that you're going to be in guilds um, kind of like Clash of Clans, you have clans, um, you're going to be grouped up with players, friends, whoever you want to be with. Um, okay, kind of switching gears here, customization. That is what a lot of this game is going to be built around. Um, a few examples, your in-game name, that's unique. So if your name's like John or something, there's only one John that can exist in Rift of Rygard. So you better snatch up that name quickly. Um, which is a lot different than Clash of Clans, where you have a player tag, but you can have any name. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. I, I like that feature. Um, guild names are also unique, so if you have something clever, better get that guild created as soon as the game comes out, um, because there is no other guild can have your exact same name. Um, and then you can, there's a lot of customization in terms of buying like skins, making your troops, your base, everything look unique to you which is something I really wanted to see more of in Clash of Clans. I mentioned in the past I wanted to see like you can have your heroes customized where your archer queen maybe has a different color cape, maybe your king looks a little different, your warden looks a little different. That's something that's been very generic in terms of uh, things look the same in Clash of Clans with few exceptions. So this is something that I'm looking forward to. Uh, I think they're reaching out to try to find more artists because it it's difficult um, to have all these different art versions for a startup company, but this is something I'm really excited to see in the game, and people love having their own unique stuff, so lots of customization there, and that's going to be a lot of what the in-game purchases are, are buying these skins, making your base look cooler, uh, which is good, you know, you don't want people paying to win, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but in terms of how this company is making money, it looks like it's going to be through customization and then through speeding up your base development. So, you know, in terms of Clash of Clans, you start at Town Hall 1, you know, and you have to wait till like Town Hall 10 before you get to be really competitive at that top war scene. So, um, speeding up that progression and the equivalent progression in Rift of Rygards is what you'll be paying for if you do want to spend money on the game. Um, but it's not pay to win in the respect that um, it won't make you any better uh, in terms of the competitive aspect just because you're paying money to upgrade quicker. It will get you like a seat at the table, but it won't do much more than that. So it's kind of like clan wars because you can't pay to win a clan war. You can just pay to have a certain level base and be able to participate in the clan wars. So that's kind of a parallel to Clash of Clans. Um, uh, in terms of like the company itself, the main idea, the motto, I guess, is game, uh, by gamers, for gamers. So obviously Jake was uh, a big Clash of Clans gamer. And I think the idea is that the team is really trying to have one ear to the community, if not both ears to the community, in terms of what do they want to see added to the game, what do they want to see changed. And they're going to try to make the game as beneficial as they can for the people who are playing it. So that's something that's very nice to see. There's going to be a lot of community feedback. Um, very involved with the community. It's free to play, it's fair play, no cheating. They're gonna crack down hard on that from what we've heard. And like I said, it's not pay to win in that you won't be sitting at the, you know, Done Right Games, Rift of Rygard World Championship just because you dropped 10 grand on the game. You still have to be good. Um, you can't buy your way into the finals. So um, 
as we wrap up this video, from what I've heard, it's going to be launching on both Android and iOS. I think it was May 2019 was the projection. Um, as most companies tend to work, it might be a little bit later than that, but um, somewhere in the late spring, early summer of next year, which isn't that long from now, uh, we're talking less than a year for sure. So that's um, something to look forward to. There's going to be a beta testing where they're going to give it out to a limited group of players and um, different uh, testers for the game where I'm assuming they'll take feedback, make changes, but they're going to get a, a game version out probably within a few months or so and uh, people will be able to beta test that. So if you want any more information, go straight to the source. Um, Done Right Games YouTube channel, Jake's YouTube channel, um, they have links to Kickstarter campaigns, all kinds of stuff like that where you can find out more information on the company and on the first game they're coming out with. So I hope this video uh, was helpful in kind of telling you guys what this game's about. I'm very excited for it and that's why I wanted to make a video just to get this information out there and um, see how, what, how you guys feel about it. So let me know in the comments below uh, how you feel about this game, if you're excited to play it, if you want me to cover it on the channel once it comes out, and I'll be sure to take a look at that. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bisectatron out.